Hello, Les from Tyler D. Retired and Living the Dream. Another video, another car wash. So this may be a long one. It's going to be a bit of a general chat about a few things, about um, why I bought this house, the reasons why I bought this house. I'm going to see my wife at home in Karat. She's been there a couple of weeks helping out with the rice farming and she does this every year. So I'm going to go pick her up and then we're going to go to Port Chan for Christmas. So in this video, I'm going to show you bits and pieces of why I bought this house and I'm going to do a sunset at our local beach five minutes drive from where we are so you'll see that later on in the video as well and the price of the food that I'm going to have there because I go up tomorrow so this is sort of my last evening so I'm going to give the car a wash and we'll have a general chat so here we go I've given the car a wash because we're going up tomorrow I should say I'm going up tomorrow to go see my wife. It's about a six hour drive to Karat from where we live here in Rayong. So therefore, it's a nice ride. It's a gentle ride and it's beautiful really to go through the, the mountains in the Karat. And to say, my wife has her own house, her own farm up in Karat. So we're very lucky now. We have. We have two houses. We live both here in Rayong and we have a house in Karat also. So yeah, I'm very, very lucky. We decided to buy this one because we wanted to, to live here as well as having the choice of living at my wife's home in the countryside. So we have the best of both worlds really. And I can't complain about that. So why did I choose this house? Well, I've been in the Rayong area now for oh, nine, ten years or so, and I love this area, I really do. I've travelled all around Thailand, and I like this area. And this house here, I've known about this house for maybe eight years, and I know the landlady, and I've helped other people back there, and I've helped other people rent houses from our landlady. And she showed me this one a long time ago. And I said to her, I said, if it ever comes available for rent again, give me a shout and I'll rent it off you. And five years ago, it came up for rent. But she'd done some modifications to it. And she built this, the car park, which is very important in Thailand because it keeps it out of the sun, stops all the paintwork from fading. So. If you're going to buy a house, seriously look at getting shade for it. And of course you can wash your car underneath the shade and it's not boiling hot. So we lived here for five years and then we decided that we were going to buy somewhere. So we asked our landlady whether she would sell this house to us and she said yes. After thinking about it for a few days. So why did I like this house? Now there's a few things, I've travelled around the world, I've lived in Europe and I'm going to show you some of the trees, the trees out the back here, you'll see this photograph, they remind me of Italy because of the trees, the, the sides of the trees, the way they look, reminds me very much of a few houses that I lived in in Italy, beautiful, the front door of the, this house. It reminds me very much of houses in France, the big oversized front door. It's beautiful. It's lovely. It really, really is nice. It just appeals to me. And then the colour of the house, it's like a beigey, not a beigey colour, it's a peachy colour. Now that reminds me of the colourful houses all the way around Europe. And that's what makes Europe housing, Greece, Cyprus and things like that, because they're all colourful houses. Now the colour of this house reminded me of that. So in many ways, this house reminds me of many places that I lived around Europe. And given the chance to be able to buy it, it was like a dream come true. Now if you, if you listen, you can hear all the birds singing. Now this happens every day, the birds are singing here every day, it's, it's a wonderful because we're living in the countryside. 
and uh, it's in a nice location you'll see the sunset a little bit later on in this video with regard to five minutes drive from the beach we live so location wise we couldn't be any closer to the beach without paying obviously a big premium for the, for the house to be close to the beach and um, it's it's nice to live here the, the people are friendly that live here we have a, a good lifestyle we have a, a number of friends that we socialize with they come around our house we go around their house so as far as sociability is concerned we again we, we can't ask for any more it's a it's a lovely feeling and the cost of living here in Thailand is much cheaper than it is to live in England. Could he have afforded this house in England? Absolutely no way, no way. I couldn't afford to live this lifestyle in England. So therefore, I'm over the moon being able to give him the opportunity to live this lifestyle in Thailand. And I think it's the same for anybody that lives around Europe the cost of buying a property and and things is so so prohibitively expensive I was going to build a house in France I had some land in France and uh, I was going to build there but that was going to cost me a hundred thousand pounds I don't know what that is in Bath but I'll, I'll I'll put the figures up on there so you can see where a hundred thousand pounds is in Bath to build a house and then the land on top of that was another 15 so about a hundred and let's call it about a hundred and twenty thousand pounds to build a house in France now we've done some videos with regard to buying houses here and from one million baht up to almost three million baht and that's a lot cheaper than what you could build in in Europe so therefore, it's much cheaper to live here than Europe. So my wife's house in, in Karat. Why did we decide to buy this house and not live in Karat with my wife's farm, which would have been rent free? Many people would have said, oh, you would have voted to go live in Karat and uh, live a rent-free life well that was way way up in the countryside and it's beautiful and I'll put some pictures on this video with regard to living in Karat or where my wife's farm is should I say and the lifestyle that we could have lived there so many people would say rent-free option but thing is also I've retired here so social life up in my wife's village there's only about 60 houses in the village and I'm the only Farang in the village so therefore my social life would sort of take a dive because there's nobody there just Thai people so therefore on my communications and talking with people over the internet which realistically isn't the best option so as we were renting this place anyway and it's actually not much more to buy this place than it is to rent although it is more than what I'm paying in rent the outcome is that one day we can own this house so that's what we decided to do. We decided to, to buy this house. Our landlady gave us the option to, to buy it and we were happy with the deal. And she was happy with the deal. So we took over and we've actually bought this house now. So if anybody's got any questions about buying a house and and uh, ways that you can do it. There are several ways to do it. Like I say, we didn't go the normal route with a mortgage. 
Um, now we could have borrowed money on my wife's house because she lives there mortgage free the house is not under loans nor no anything but we managed to get a private finance deal so we didn't have to put her house in as guarantee or anything so everything was done by private finance now again i can't really go into the details as to the private finance deal because that's between us and the person that gives us the finance but we were happy with the deal and it doesn't tie anything up with regard to loan guarantees and things like that so it was a way of doing it there are many ways to be able to buy a house here in thailand and we just explored a few options and for us the private finance deal worked for us it might not work for everybody but living in thailand here we are in december and i've just got my t-shirt on it's a bit cooler than it is the rest of the year but that's because it's winter time but for me the temperature is perfect in december it's nice and cool or cooler than normal yeah, there's a bit of a bit of a windy breeze which is lovely and for me it's my favorite time of the year from january february time it starts to get warm and by april time it can get un uncomfortably warm for saying that it's freezing cold now in england and i'd sooner be warm than cold because at the end of the day you can cool yourself in a fan but to keep yourself warm putting the central heating on or the gas fire on to keep warm it's an expensive way to keep warm whereas this just put a fan on and that's all you need to do so not a very long video today with regard to bits and pieces but as i'm going to put the sunset on and um and i'm going to drive up to my wife's farm tomorrow which will take me about six hours so if anybody's got any questions any comments please leave them down below and i'll get back to them when i can but because i'm going up to my wife's farm it might take a few days now because the internet isn't very good up there and we're only going up there for a few days because i'm going to go bring her back down and we're going to go to ko chang for christmas I'll put another video on about Ko Chang and where we're going to stay. And it's very reasonable. So from Les, retired and living the dream in Thailand. Until the next video, bye for now.
sweet and sour pork on the beach watching the sun go down. I'm going to have a walk along the beach. So it's beautiful here. As I say, this beach is literally five minutes drive. You'll have seen on the video, I've done a little bit of speeding up how long it takes, but it's about five minutes drive from the beach to our home. So it's not too far. And as you can see, beautiful, beautiful. This is where I live. This is where everybody can live if they want to go to Thailand and live here. It's a cheap place to live. It's not expensive. Rayong, Thailand. Prices of houses and accommodation, rental is so cheap. As I say, the house that I was renting was 12,000 baht a month. What could you get in England for 12,000 baht a month? Here we are now in December. I'm walking along the beach, just a shirt on. Fantastically beautiful. I wish I could bottle the feeling that I've got living here. And I've lived in Thailand now for almost 11 years. It's a fantastic feeling. It really, really is good. So from Les, retired and truly living the dream in Thailand. Till the next video, bye for now.